Now, I know that some of you have some fortified things in your life that you want demolished immediately, like right now. And you're asking, Kyle, where do I start? Well, I would say, do as David did in Psalm 139, 23. Ask God to examine your thoughts. And as I've mentioned before, David could ask God to examine his thoughts without fear because he knew that God's love is unfailing. And you can read in Psalm 138, 8, he praises God for his unfailing love. And that was just, you know, the psalm right before he asked God to examine his thoughts. So he knew that Whatever God brought up would not condemn him or disqualify him or be used to punish him. That's how unfailing love, unconditional love is. It's truly unconditional. But this is all even more true, I'd say, for you today because of Jesus who forgave your past, present, and future sins. So you're not asking God to examine your thoughts for any kind of extra forgiveness or any kind of extra something from God. You've already have every spiritual blessing, is what Paul said. Okay. So you're just asking him to examine your thoughts if you want, so that he will bring up any lies that may be slipped in that you didn't know you were believing. And I'm telling you, he'll do it. Probably not immediately through any kind of an audible voice. It might come through a sermon. Something might suddenly click when you're reading the Bible or a devotional. Could be anything, really. Could come in the shower. I don't know. It'll be something that changes everything about something you believed. Suddenly you'll just like, wow, I thought that way, but now I think this way. It's a change of mind. And it'll be something that takes a brick or two out of that stronghold And maybe that's the brick that makes the rest of it come crumbling down. But I'll give you an example of a truth that freed me some years ago. For the first decade of my Christianity, I thought there were all kinds of things that needed to be fixed about me in order for me to please God and be used by Him. I knew I had a call of God on my life, But I just thought that there was so much wrong with me. And believe it or not, much of that belief was fortified over the years in me by religion, by scriptures that were taught to me out of context, really. Nobody's fault, just the way that it happened. Well, as I often say, I thought my personality was one of those things that needed to be fixed. I didn't think I could be an introvert and do what God has called me to do. I thought to be bold in the spirit meant that I needed to be loud and boisterous and, you know, kind of a life of the party personality. Well, in Colossians 2.10, it gives a truth that set me free. It says, so you are also complete through your union with Christ. Complete. I had heard that verse over the years. But at the right time and with some right teaching, it clicked in a personal way for me. I saw that complete means lacking nothing. It means when it comes to pleasing God or being qualified for God's use, I'm as whole as I'm ever going to be. It means I don't need fixing. So can you see how that change belief would change my attitudes and actions? When I believed the lie that I wasn't good enough for God, I was insecure, I was fearful, I was anxious, I was exhausted from trying to do something, improve something that Jesus already did and proved. But when I understood the truth that I am complete in Christ, everything changed. The insecurity went away. The fear and anxiety went away. The striving went away. The stress, therefore, then went away. I could finally get on with my life and my calling. And I could stumble my way through it and not have to be afraid of, oh no, did I mess up and did I make God upset? Did I fall from grace? No. When I understood my completion in Christ, well, that stronghold of fear and insecurity got destroyed. And I'll tell you what, I'm so convinced that it's not getting rebuilt. 
That's what truth does. And like I said, that's what God will do for you. He's good like that. So it's okay to ask him to examine your thoughts to expose lies. Not to find something bad in you and help you be forgiven of it or something. No, that's already a done deal. You ask God to examine your thoughts to expose the lies so that you can change your thinking, your believing. So he might lead you to some truths immediately. He might use my Shut Up Devil app or my Think on These Things journal or a Bible promise book or a devotional to do it. Many other ways he could do it too. Sermon, a song, random thought dropped into your mind at just the right time, okay? There's no limits on how God can do this, and there's certainly no limits on the time again. However God does it, though, when the truth finally clicks, like when you know it, like, oh, wow, this is, this is the truth about this specific subject or this specific feeling or fear that I've had. Surround that lie, surround yourself with truth. Fixate on that truth despite how you feel or how things look. It might take seven days of surrounding that truth. It could take seven months. Don't get caught up in the timing of it. Focus on the truth. And at the right time, the walls will fall. Probably when you're not trying so much. Just Get yourself convinced of that truth. And at the right time, the walls will fall, the stronghold will be knocked down, and it'll be kept down because you will have established truth, really a positive stronghold. And you'll be freed and stay freed. Here's the simple takeaway. When it comes to toxic patterns in your life, don't try to take them down yourself. You can't behave them away. You can't discipline them away. First and foremost, you believe them away. It's right believing that leads to right behaving that leads to right living. Okay. I mentioned my Think on These Things journal. I designed this journal to help you in this deliverance process. It begins with a short chapter about mind renewal, which includes what I call the four R's of mind renewal. How to apply the truth to your life. Read, reflect, rephrase, repeat. The bulk of this journal is simply made up of 30 days of grace-based truths from the Bible with journaling prompts that take you through those four R's. The goal is that it keeps your mind focused on truth so that in 30 days, your mind actually starts to get rewired so that you start to believe right, which affects everything else in your life from there. Everything trickles down from the top. So this is a super practical but powerful resource. And it's available for you at kylewinkler.org journal. We've also made it possible for you to get these at a discount if you purchase five or more for your family or group. All the details are there at kylewinkler.org journal. 